So my name is Nishant. I'm going to study for a master's in electrical engineering at the University of Twente. And uh, currently I am a research intern at I IIT Delhi, which is the uh, Indian Institute of Technology. Okay. And so now to the questions that I have, like what to do after coming to the Netherlands. You can get refund of your money if you finish before two years masters. If you finish okay. your masters before two years, then mm -hmm. you can get a refund of the months that you did not use. So that keeping that in mind, it was like a strange way. It was changed during my time. So there mm -hmm. are like three months. If you finish two months before, you don't get any refund. If you finish mm -hmm. three months before, then you get three months refund. And okay. if you finish four, then four. Then it is valid. But once you are really near end, then they don't allow you to get two or one. I don't remember. Okay. It was basically one for the report. Yeah, and that is difficult. I mean, if you run after yeah, money, yeah. If, then it might spoil everything. Like your yeah, whole. It should not. I mean, I was important. thinking about that, but after two, three months of doing my thesis, I thought like if I want to get a PhD, then okay. instead of focusing on the quality of the thesis, if I focus on these stupid things, it's not better. So I just. Yeah removed it from my mind like because I already had this much time for my thesis and after like six seven months I was already done and started writing so what happened was writing should have been finished in one or two months but mm -hmm. as I had a lot of time so while writing I spent 20 percent of the day in writing and 80 percent of the day in applying for PhDs uh -huh. so in that way it also helps a lot of like it reduces your pressure like when you're working on thesis with sufficient time but it is not possible for everyone so it depends everyone's trajectory is really really different i mean that is just an example to motivate someone but not that you should follow that that's not the my goal of making the video or anything like okay. um, um then the next question is that should you join a study association like there are associations yeah, yeah, for should, computer science. I mean, I joined something for one or two months, but then what happened was like uh, it was in the first year, but uh, it varies from university to university. You should join. Why I mean is like it helps you to know about the local culture and the socializing part. And initially you get some friends to have a starter like a uh, to form the group, like the bigger group. Okay. But it depends like if you like that then you should go for it i mean it is never disadvantage to have a have part of a social group because mm -hmm. you get also a lot of other activities sometimes they have this study tours because recently i saw there was mm -hmm. a there are two basic groups in tu delft called christian Huygens and uh, what is the other one best or something and they mm -hmm take tours to people like to Japan and different places. I mean, you have to pay a little amount, but compared to what you pay as going yourself, it is much less. So these kind of activities, you get exposure. And there is also the social events and free coffee and free materials and many things happen like cooking, exhibitions okay. and many things. So I was there for like first six months I was there. At that time, it was not that active. Mm -hmm. And then when they had these activities at that time, I had so many ECTs, so I just stopped. And that's why I said, like, it depends. If there are some people who can balance it really well, then it is fine. But if you feel at some point, like, okay, this is not working for me, then you can just withdraw. Mm -hmm. So and, but, uh, for the specific, part, in my uh, opinion. Sorry? In my opinion, if it is possible, then you should go for it. Okay, okay. And I wanted to know if like uh, I've heard that uh, if you join like a computer science one, then you can get past your papers and study resources. Yeah, yeah, you know. they were they were available in our groups. I remember like I mean, even if I don't join it, I can find it online. So okay, that's okay. so that's depends, not the like, no, I mean, that is not a added incentive of joining it. But uh, uh, there are other things like the exposure and the games and everything you learn a lot about the sometimes you have Dutch meals in different houses so yeah. it, it also varies from university to university how good the social group is in 20 and I know when I have no idea so it varies from university to university okay uh, my next question is like there's a lot of uh, as you said there's a lot of projects that you have to do 
and i've heard that some students don't really care so how do you uh, pick the good students so that like you uh, get along with people who actually care about their grades mm, i mean that is very difficult to know beforehand when you choose the group members yeah uh, normally whatever i've seen as per my experience the the when there is a bigger group project which is which are very rare like mm-hmm. suppose the group uh, suppose the project needs like four or five group members even though they are from i mean it is always good in my opinion to have people from different nationality instead of uh, <laughs> i mean that creates a lot of problem like if you have only indians or like only some category of people then sometimes it might be a problem like okay uh, you should have a mix but even if i mean based on my experience i would say like if it is a four member group normally somehow they work well together even if whatever their composition is but mm-hmm. if it is a two or three member group then you need to choose them wisely otherwise it might be a disaster <laughs> like yeah. i have seen people who withdraw the course after like one month because they don't fit with the partner or maybe the partner withdraws and they and don't find anyone partner. willing to work with them or it is already too late or they also lose interest but selecting that sec- i mean if you are working as two then it's really difficult to know how do you Uh, i mean if you know beforehand two three people like in the orientation program or something like that in your faculty then you can know something about them like in my case there was one project where we had a pair uh, two members who were supposed to work and there was a chinese guy i met him in the orientation program we have a masters kick off program in mm-hmm. tudelf so there we interacted with each other and i knew that he was good in programming okay. very good but he was not that good in writing the i mean the english like the reports and everything so that's why there was a certain type of assignment and mostly he was good in python so he went into the i mean i chose him and he went in the python part and i did the html css part on the top and the writing part so that's how you need to like select or know three four people who are good in certain things so that you can share like that way it won't also hamper their interest like but if you don't know anyone then <laughs> you should try to know otherwise yeah. i have no i mean it's very difficult to say how you choose like without knowing anything i think it's very difficult to uh i mean even if it is randomized you can have a chat for one day like why not you have still one or two days after you form the group to like decide like because never like do it under pressure or forcefully otherwise after one month you'll regret like <laughs> maybe you are really hard working and you see that the person in the group uh, is i mean many people say this i don't agree with it completely but sometimes it is true like mm. people say like you should not work with uh, i mean especially i'm talking about indian so you should not work with your indian group always you should have a mix mm. sometimes it is beneficial but it depends like if there is a person who was studying with you and you know that he also works well then you can always have him it's not true that always they are not good but sometimes if you don't know anyone then it is better to have someone from other so, nationality to have better like yeah, balance yeah so that depends on that particular context okay um and are there any other specific study skills or something that i should know about the netherlands and education system there like mm-hmm. something specific? yeah i mean if you have this kind of uh, sometimes in courses people feel like the i mean that is also again a personal thing like sometimes people feel like that uh, the person who is teaching like the they don't uh, tell you all the things like from the uh, i mean they are very superficial you will feel like that but actually what they are trying to do is like they are really good but it's not is a different way of teaching so some people do it knowingly because they want you to go back and to have a look at the maybe the research papers or maybe some supplementary book materials or something and i have said this i think in the batches video you should always try to be proactive like sometimes people 
lag behind in that and they then suffer later because even if they don't say or they say if you are proactive then you can always go to them and as there is no hierarchy okay. here so it's very yeah. uh, friendly atmosphere so they are also really busy so even if it is friendly it will be, it will be very difficult for you to find a time slot and most of the things here are done in based on appointments mm -hmm. so you should just walk to them and or maybe the ta if there is a ta in that course who can help you and just talk to them directly like immediately instead of thinking like okay i will think about it and then one week will go and then think about it and then later you'll see my exams are coming and that's gone like uh, i mean this thing might not be a case in you but i'm just saying in general like uh, that is really helpful when you're proactive whatever may be the situation you'll yeah, always if they deny you just go there two three times no one will be angry and once they have a time slot they will just give it to you and you can have a chat normally people also decide the thesis like this like Mm. after like 4 or 5 months they sometimes people have zero interest in anything and after 6 months they start to know what are the things happening around them like in that field mm -hmm. because it's very difficult to know like at the beginning of a masters what thesis you want to do it's really difficult mm -hmm. because in my case i knew like my interest was in yeah. algorithms but later i just went somewhere else like it was not mm -hmm. even related to algorithms so that's why these things develop with time and you will know by yourself which point you are ready to talk with them or about the thesis i mean because sometimes they will also say like oh you are in the fourth month uh, mm -hmm. i think that is too early for discussing or the thesis and then maybe i mean the thing is they want to see what you think so it's not like they are saying writing you off but mm -hmm. if you feel like okay i'm still okay i'm still ready even if he or she says that you are not ready then you can give them some examples like okay i read this paper and this and this was this why i think i we can do it this way and then maybe if they find okay this is interesting and then maybe they will give you a, like a 15 minute slot and start discussing the the initial idea or the initial thesis that you want to do or maybe after one year like okay. so these kind of things like small small things but if you're proactive then it helps you a lot in many fields because they are very direct and very flat structure so they will tell you on the face like if everything is okay or mm -hmm. not okay you might have heard it in many videos people yeah, make yeah. it like that culture is very direct but that helps a lot like it, sometimes you feel it but sometimes it helps a lot because you know everything right from the beginning not like you later find after one year okay you are doing this wrong or something like that that's good